Welcome back to our series on difficult embryo transfer. In our introductory video, we had discussed that embryo transfer is a very important process of the IVF system and can decide between whether we get the result or not. Easy embryo transfers may be very good for our patients, but in many IVF centers, more than 50% of transfers can be difficult. So how do we negotiate through these difficult embryo transfers? Difficulty can lie in problem of visualization of the catheter. So as you know, we are doing the transfer with ultrasound guidance, and we may not be able to visualize it properly, or we may not be able to enter through the cervical canal, or we, have, we are able to see we have entered, but we are able to difficulty in negotiating. Today, we are going to talk about problems during visualization. Now, why can we not see the transfer catheter, the uterus, the endometrium clearly? It could be because of poor ultrasound settings. It could be because either the bladder is not full or it is overfull or the lady is obese. There is a vertical scar in the abdomen or even a horizontal scar, which is not allowing the ultrasound shadows to go properly or the uterus is adherent or shifted due to previous surgery and scars. <clears throat> so the ultrasound setting while you do your embryo transfer is paramount to your success. You should talk and have a dialogue with your ultrasound machine with every embryo transfer. Everybody's built abdominal fat, bladder, fullness is different. So the same setting may not work for every patient. So whether you need to zoom in, focus, adjust the const uh, contrast, be very sure that the room is dimly lit. If there is background light and there's the machine, the contrast of your embryo transfer catheter, the endometrium may not be very clear. So know your machine well and do your settings properly for every embryo transfer. Poor visualization. So your bladder has to be just full. Why? Because the shadows go through the liquid portion of the urinary bladder and enhance the shadows of the endometrium. Also, when your uterus is antiverted and the bladder is full, it straightens the axis of the uterus. So, having a full bladder in antiverted uterus is very important. But if it's a very big bladder, then the shadows don't go in well. The endometrium appears unusually thin and your negotiation may also be difficult. So, Full, but not overfull. Obesity, you know, of course, we discuss with our patients to stick to good lifestyle and try to reduce the body weight to at least 2 to 5% of original. But sometimes it is not possible. In the abdominal fat, you need to pull up the fat flab and then do the ultrasound are just near the pelvic brim. That will give you the best visualization. Vertical scar can be a problem. Even transverse scar can be a problem because of the scarry tissues. The shadows don't go in well. So you have to adjust your probe on the side or this side to an angle to get the right depth and visualization. So in such cases, when we have tried everything, yet we are not able to see because of obesity, because of scar, because of uterus being adherent, there are three techniques that we follow during embryo transfer that will enhance our visualization. 
One is the transvaginal method. One is the other is the measurement technique. And then is the field technique. These techniques over the years from my gurus, from my own experiences and modifications, I have developed to be able to be sure that I'm dropping the embryos at the right position. So the transvaginal ultrasound technique. In this, rather than getting it from the, uh, the abdominal scan, I'm going to scan it from below and try to get the endometrium right, especially in the previous circumstances, obesity, uh, scarring, adhesions. This becomes a useful technique. So this was a workshop I did. And here I'm going to uh, show the... transvaginal technique. So first you will be in the position and then you put in the outer catheter. Very gently, you need an assistant for this. Very gently, you will then Next is the measurement technique. So this was the measurement technique when from the outer at which is there at the internal loss you measure to the maximum implantation potential you are not able to see so clearly and then you go in and the inner in that measurement you place the embryos. Next is the field technique where it's very difficult to see, nothing can be done, you're not even able to measure. And then you know that the uterus cervical length to 2.5 centimeter from the internal loss. So you just, earlier there was no ultrasound, right? 10, 15, 20 years ago, all transfers were done by the field technique, having a judgment of the uterus cervical length. And uh, of course, there's a flaw to it if you are not sure about the cavity length, because some may have a small cavity, some may have a big cavity. But if you're reasonably sure, about two centimeter, two and a half centimeter, or 2.2 centimeter from your uh, internal loss, you can do the transfer.
So you see, and then I cross check by the transvaginal ultrasound and the drop is exactly where it should be. Sometimes you can use an ecogenic catheter which has special air bubbles around it to be able to visualize the catheter if you are not able to see the catheter well. So before we go into our next series, uh, let's just quickly see the ecogenic catheter tip and we'll just wind it up here for this series. can see the ecogenic tip. And there goes the air bubble. The satisfaction an IVF specialist gets when you see that forward push of the air bubble right inside the cavity where it should be is like amazing. You know you've done your best. And rest of course is on multiple factors. Uh, which we call destiny, which we cannot control. But at least we should be able to do our best. So this was, uh, today's series was when we cannot uh, see the catheter and the techniques that we discussed today were the transvaginal method, measurement technique, and the field technique. And in my next series, I'm going to explain to you what we do when we are not able to enter into the uterus. Okay, till then, bye-bye.